Hello everyone, welcome to day one of the Steam Summer Sale. Um, I'm just quickly going to do a quick video here and go through the Summer Sale and see what the hell should you buy, what do I recommend, um, what do I have and that kind of stuff. So, let's go through some games. Um, today, so today, Thursday, you got Farming Simulator 15. If you like farming simulators and simulators, super simulators, get it, but for me personally, it's not really a thing. Um, Grand Theft Auto, there's nothing I can say about that that hasn't already been said. It is one of the greatest franchises in the history of video games. If you probably already have most of them. If you don't have the other ones, like the old ones, like San Andreas, like number three, like Vice City, amazing games, go buy them. I'm sure they have some good discounts. I don't think five would be on sale. Um, I haven't checked that. Actually, let's just quickly check it. Is it? This is the Australian prices, by the way. So if you ever wondered what the Australian prices were like, well, there you go. Five is actually on sale. So, um, with stuff, not by itself. But anyway, let's go back to the store. Um, early access here, Wreckfest. I do not know this game, so I can't say anything about it. Judging by its picture, it looks pretty cool. Judging by its 50% off, I don't know how good it's going. But that's probably something if you just have fifteen dollars laying around, you might want to look into it. Look into it, but I don't know. Uh, don't start together. Definitely buy that if you are a fan of um, survival games. I personally am not, hence why I do not own it. But do buy it if you really love those kind of games. It is an amazing game, and a lot of people who love it, check it out. Sniper Elite shooters, snipering games, one of the best. Actually, is the best sniping game out there. I've played a few, and Sniper Elite is definitely my favorite to play. Um, played through all of Sniper Elite 2, played through most of Sniper Elite 3, um, and I played through a little bit of Sniper Elite 1. Not very good, but 2, two is excellent. 3 is pretty good too. Definitely builds off the success of number 2. And also, their zombie games. Fucking awesome, actually. Definitely something to play with friends, so definitely head into that. XCOM, again, one of those, here, one of those franchises. There's not much to say about it. Oh, it's all been changed, I'll have to go back to start. Um, not much more to say about it. You guys would know what X time is. It is one of those real time shit. Well, it is a real time. It's a real time strategy, isn't it? Um, well, it's a strategy game anyway. Again, not my cup of tea. I'm not a really um, big guy on strategy games, but it is one of the best if you go into that kind of thing, so you'll love it. Um, Homeworld Remastered Collection. I'm not sure what that game is, so I'm just going to skip on that. Darkest Dungeon. That is a great game. One I don't own, but I have seen a lot of my friends play, and it is a great indie game. Uh, which I would highly recommend you go check out, watch the videos, have a look at it. Valkyria Co Chronicles. Again, I do not know this game, so I can't comment. Um, so we'll just move on. Tales from Bo the Borderlands, a Telltale game series. Now, I have not heard much about the series. I have heard it's pretty good, but not... Uh, you know, I haven't heard enough to say definite things, but it is Telltale Games. One of the great publishers at the moment, the great well, game developers at the moment. They are producing hit after hit. I would go after that. If you're a fan of Borderlands, if you're a fan of Telltale Games, do so. I don't know why I don't have it, because I love Telltale Games. I have pr practically every game they've ever released, so I'm a huge fan of their games, and I should probably get that, even though I don't really like Borderlands, but that's a different story. Naruto, um, Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. Don't know a lot about it. I know some people do like the Naruto franchise, um, not just not the anime, I'm talking more about the game series that, that they do come out. Again, something if you are a fan of the, sh of the show and um, of the manga, look into it, have a check. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, my game. If you do not own this game, I don't know why you're watching me. Um, buy this game right now, 50% off, excellent deal. I would go get it if, I might even buy a couple just to give away. I don't know, that's fucking cheap. Um, what do we got there? We got x Plane 10, never heard of it, fuck it. Uh, Metro Franchise, an excellent shooting um, game, which I've heard nothing but good stuff about, so go do so. Now we go down to the five sales. Now these are only gonna be next for the next four hours, so there won't be much. And that will be long when, when this video comes out, but if you do see it just before it does, Oddworld is on sale. Go fucking buy it. Oddworld is one of my favorite games of all time. I have an Oddworld shirt somewhere over there too. It is awesome. Um, Black Mesa, if you're a fan, I have to, it's in my cart. I haven't bought it yet, but Black Mesa is the remake of Half-Life 1. It looks beautiful. I have played the first half of the game um, when they first released it. About a year and a half ago, they released the first half of the game uh, up to the Zen chapter. Um, and I played through most of that. Actually, there are some videos on this YouTube of me playing through it. If you want to have a look through more into that game, it is very well, well done. Dark Side is also very good. Um, F1 2014, I mean, 2015's about to come out um, soon, so you might not want to get that one, but it is a great game for a great price. 
there's another great indie game. Outlast, another great indie game, which is very cheap at four dollars. I'm not gonna play it because I don't like those kind of games. I can't do it. Mirror's Edge is probably the biggest thing here, though. Five four dollars thirty nine for Mirror's Edge, one of the great platformers. Um, it really is good. Uh, it, I can't say enough. It's a great game. Uh, and Papers, Please. Another excellent, excellent game. It's something that's so different to anything else that you will play. So, there you go, guys. If I were to say what would I buy today, the Binding of Isaac for $7.50. Um, if, if, for cheap thing, Binding of Isaac $7.50. I'd definitely go for Mirror's Edge at $4.39. And to be honest, for me, it would be Black Mesa. So, if you want to spend 25 bucks, I would go for Black Mesa, um, Mirror's Edge, and Isaac. There's your three games, and you're going to have a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll make these videos every day to show you what's on there and what I think you should buy. But for today, that's what we have. Happy shopping. Bye.